I love you so, so much more, my love. Hey, Collective. Thank y'all so much for tuning in and tapping in. Y'all already know who and what it is. I'm your girl, Bucky. And this, of course, is Sip This Tea Tarot, where we tap in with Spirit and we get the tea on your situation or whatever it is Spirit needs for you to know at this time. Collective, all of the messages here are general, meaning they cannot and will not resonate with each and every one of you guys. So please, only take what resonates with you and your story and leave the rest. Also, anything you need to know about myself or my channel, it will most definitely be in the description box below. And Collective, y'all already know, any music that you guys may happen to hear in the background, of course, I do not own the rights to that music. It's just simply playing for us to vibe out. So, child, if I don't do something with this, hell. <laughs> Anywho, so Collective, if you can hear it, then go on and get your vibe on. Anywho, y'all, we're just going to tap in with Spirit and get a general message. Um, I don't know what is about to come out, but if the video does resonate, um, please like, comment, as well as subscribe to all my subscribers. All y'all that just come here and watch me, listen to your girl, all that good stuff, like and comment. I thank y'all all so much. Y'all are all helping my channel grow, and it is greatly appreciated. I promise y'all from the bottom of my heart. All right, y'all. And y'all, you know, I'm not the only, I can't be the only one. There's other tarot readers, you know, myself included. We ask y'all to like the videos. Not for our benefit, but it gets it into the algorithm. So if there's a message here, and if, even if it resonates with you just a little bit, like the video because it, it can get into the algorithm and it can help other collective possibly with something that they're going through. That is why we ask y'all to like the video. I ask y'all to comment because I'm nosy. I like reading y'all comments. <laughs> So, hell, that's what that is. But let's go on and tap in. I'm feeling like, seriously, y'all got this energy that just, like, attract people to y'all. I'm not even. It's like you self-sufficient, independent, you're hardworking, you're paying your own bills and stuff. Whatever somebody gives you is just a bonus. And I'm feeling like people are noticing it. Damn, you can't make this up. Queen of Pentacles right there. You the you queen of your own material world. You got this shit. You want you got your finances and shit under control. Yeah, you got jobs. You don't I'm feeling like if some of y'all work for yourselves, there's some kind of contract that's coming in for you. I don't know if somebody here does contract work. But I do feel like you have a contract coming through. Yeah, something is balancing out here. Something is gonna be justified here. It's like um I'm, I'm hearing cause and effect. I don't know what that's about. Cause and effect. So let's just tap in and see. Yeah, look, I'm feeling like a lot of y'all are financially stable. Like, you're financially secure. Whatever this is, this job, this contract, this business, you got this shit in the bag. Like, it's in the bag. You ain't got nothing to worry about when it comes to this situation holy spirit give me more on this situation for the collective give me some energy for the collective today holy spirit let's see what this is yeah we got the four sword swords here hmm. i'm feeling like some of y'all it's like y'all work a lot somebody here need to get some rest you really need to get some rest here it's like somebody here, you stressing about something. Possibly, I'm feeling like, because your finances are in check, right? But I'm feeling like there is like this um, this love situation or, you know, this romantic situation that y'all got on y'all mind. Could be a little Sagittarius or Aries, Leo. Yeah, it's a lot of fire out here in the air. We got, so we got Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Sagittarius, as well as Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. I'm really feeling like some of y'all could be like, in y'all head like about this situation here but it's like all of this is going to balance out here because i'm feeling like there's going to be like a really um significant energetic exchange here between who you and whomever this person is yeah i'm feeling like um yeah judgment is coming up here i'm feeling like either you or them right now is ready to be honest because it's like somebody has been patiently waiting and thinking, like analyzing something here. Also about that business here, patience. Be patient because it's uh, whatever you're hoping for, wishing for, have been manifesting. 
it's about to come through her. Yeah, I'm feeling like where something possibly broke down in the in the past, it's about to be renewed here. Also, someone here is they're wanting your forgiveness for something collective. I'm not sure what this is, but someone here wants your forgiveness for something. This person feels like, you know, y'all are one soul, like you're their soulmate here. Yeah, it's like you you carry this uh really tranquil energy here. Somebody here, um, I'm hearing uh tranquility and love, tranquil love, serenity. Yeah, I'm feeling like a real balanced energy here within your self collective. And it's like somebody here is admiring it. Yeah, you got somebody just like looking at you. Can't stop looking at you is what spirit is saying. Everything with you for this person is a go. But I'm feeling like this person needs to get some rest or either this is you collective. But somebody here needs to rest their mind when it comes to this situation. Somebody here dreams about having kids with the other person. It's like somebody really do, but it's like, also someone here has been hurt in the past, like seriously, but look, page of pinnacles, I don't feel like this, this hurt is going to keep this, this person from making you this offer or having this conversation with you is what spirit is saying here. I'm feeling like somebody here want to come home. Somebody here is homesick for you collective. It's like without you, this person don't feel like themselves. They feel out of balance without you. I'm feeling whoever you're dealing with, though, they were a real charmer. Yeah, this person could like draw people in with their energy. So it's kind of like y'all are one soul because I'm feeling like y'all mirror each other a lot here. So yeah, this could be your soul, my here. Now we have the uh, Knight of Cups here on top of the uh, it's on top of the Four of Swords. Yeah, like I said, even though this person is all in their head, possibly about something that broke down in the past, you know, will y'all work, won't y'all work, this is not going to keep this person from following their heart, which is leading them right to you, collective. This person has, like, a deep, like, attraction for you. I'm feeling like in the past, this person was possibly cold, yeah, you know, dealing with a lot of other people, third parties, things like that, but I'm feeling like a, a real warm energy when it comes to you. Something also about you, it's like it uh, heats this person up. Ooh. Yeah, this person here definitely wants to reunite with you. Mm. I'm feeling like also some of y'all, or either this is this person, take it how it resonates. Somebody here wants to propose. They really do. They want to propose marriage to you. Somebody here, I'm also feeling like somebody wants to invite someone to a wedding or some kind of uh, family uh, function, some kind of family like celebration party, something like that. Yeah, and then we got the nine of cups. This person feel like you, this person feels lucky to have you. Is what this is feeling like. But I, it's like somebody here. They're just like patiently waiting to uh, either get this offer or to make this offer to you. But I feel like somebody here, your wishes are about to come true here. Yeah. Especially if you have a business. I see it being very successful, very abundant. Like you're about to reap your rewards when it comes to this. I feel like a lot of uh, positive energy here collective. Yeah, now we got the eight of wands here. Hmm. Yeah, and I feel like all of this is going to happen suddenly. It's like just going to happen. Like uh, somebody is not even expecting this to happen. Yeah, I feel like this, this situation between you and whomever this person is, your work um, situation, your business, it's about to gain like a lot of momentum. And like all I see is like, you know how they train, they go choo choo. It like start off slow and it's just like choo choo. And it just keep it just go faster and faster. It's like something started out slow, but I feel it like picking up at like uh rapid right here. Like I'm hearing light, the speed of light. Yeah, this person definitely wants to talk to you. Yeah, now we got the high priestess coming now. Yes. It's like some of y'all are um like you have a your you have a your intuition be popping. You know what I'm saying? You're very comfortable with yourself. You know who the fuck you are. You're very stable emotionally, 
um, uh, financial. It's like you're you just you're like the uh, epitome of fucking stability here. And but it's like you're still somewhat of a mystery to this person with the high priestess. So that's why this person just sit up and think like, should I give this cup my cup to this person? Because they definitely want to, but it's like something mysterious, like something secretive about you. I'm feeling like it's the fact that you know things like maybe this person knows that um some of y'all can you know you foresee things like things that are happening in the future. I don't know if you've like expressed this to this person, but I'm feeling like this is another reason why this person is so hesitant to come towards you and just like do this because of your intuition. I'm feeling like a lot of y'all kind of like scare this person a little bit. It's like this person know that they wouldn't be able to hide anything from you. <laughs> yeah, I'm feeling like this person, it's like you are a drug to this person. And this person could just like, oh, yeah, Virgo energy here with the Hermit card. I'm feeling like this person done did a lot of soul searching, like a lot of, um, has gotten a lot of spiritual guidance and enlightenment about y'all's situation here as well. Yeah, but it's like this person is reflecting on themselves, like, it's something that this person did in the past, or the way they used to live in the past, they know they cannot bring this over into, um, y'all's relationship here, um, collective. Yeah, so if you and this person, <clears throat> excuse me. If you and this person are in separation, like they're in solitude, like they've isolated themselves, it's simply because I feel like this person is on a, a, a spiritual journey, which is going to lead them right back to you, collective. Yeah, this person is like, um, they're like reflecting. I'm feeling like this person is weighing out their options here, to be honest with you. But they do look at you as a blessing, like wish fulfillment. It's like everything about you, this person is loving. Yeah, now we got the the eight of pentacles, eight eight out here. Abundance, happiness, fulfillment. Yeah, but see, all of this is going together, like the 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 king of wands, the uh the nine of cups, and now we got the eight of pentacles. See what I'm saying? Somebody here, you're self employed, or you have um, somebody's getting a new job or something like that. But I do feel like somebody here has mastered their craft. And this is about to take you into a whole other tax bracket here, Collective. Y'all, excuse the kids in the background. They are playing. Yeah, I'm feeling like somebody here also. <clears throat> excuse me, Collective. But it's like this person here, they found themselves like so heavily focused on you. And that's not what this person is used to doing. They're used to pouring themselves into their job, into their business. But it feels like you caught this person's attention. You done caught their eye. You done caught shit. You done captured their heart. But this person definitely wants to come and work on this situation with you. Yeah, because they want a commitment. This person, man, look, this is a very, very dedicated person. Once this person is locked in, they locked in. Point blank. I'm getting a lot of yes cards for you guys. So far, the only no I've gotten is the hermit card. And that's simply because you and this person could be in separation. But trust me, it's all part of a divine plan here. Yeah, now we got the page of wands. Another yes. Yeah, I'm feeling like this person here, they want to come and share with you. It's like this person feels like you're a blessing and they cannot wait to talk to you about this. I'm feeling like this person can't wait to tell other people about you. They do tell other people about you because it's like... Damn, I done met this chick. Woo, 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 woo. I just, you know, you everything. And I'll be all to this person. I feel, I'm telling you, some of y'all are about to receive like a phone call, um, a text message, things like that. This person wants to like, um, they want to be with you. It's something about you that's very, very youthful as well, collective. You're, you have a very optimistic uh, mindset. It's like you're very energetic, very creative. This person feel like power couple energy with y'all. I mean, between the two of you. But I do feel like this person is about to get in touch with you very, very quickly. Yeah, this isolation is about to end. I see the world card. That's about to come to a close. So you guys can start a whole new cycle with each other. This is beautiful, collective. Yeah, King of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. 
I feel like this person knows that they have to have like the structure and discipline in order to be in a commitment with you. And they 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 don't they don't mind that. Excuse me for stumbling over my words. Yeah, I'm feeling like this person has honestly the, the time that they took out or the time that they're taking out now from you collective is simply so they can this person is more of a logical person than an emotional person. This person has to, you know, they put their emotions on the back burner so they can actually think about things, you know. So that's why if this person seems like a little detached, that is why, because they're more logical than emotional here. But this person right here, they work out of like strong ethics and morals. You see what I'm saying? This person is very, very honest. Yeah, very intelligent. I'm feeling like some of these people, like, the people hold them in a very high regard. People go to this person here and ask advice on their situations as well because they know this way. That's too many notes here. Because they know that they can depend on this person to give them a very honest and unbiased answer. Let's see. Give me more here. Give me more. Holy Spirit. Yeah, the, uh, something is significant about 92 and 2014. Somebody here could even be 29 years old, 20 years old. Somebody, I'm hearing somebody, this is someone's childhood, sweetheart. You've been knowing this person since she was 14. <clears throat> yeah, now we have the two of ones. See, this person is all in their head. Like, what did I say? Should I, should not give this person my cup? Two of one's choices they don't know yet. It's like they can either, you know, settle down and, or be single her. Mm. Yeah, but I'm feeling like this person cannot get you or this situation off their mind. It's like they're trying hard to detach. Some of them are even trying to, you know, throw themselves back into work so they don't have to think about this situation. I do not, I don't feel like it's working. I really don't. Yeah, you could be dealing with the Aries, a Leo, Scorpio. Yeah, and then we got the Wheel of Fortune coming out. See what I'm saying? On top, see, man, look. Business owners, I see the wheel turning in your favor. Now is a very, very auspicious time for you to buckle down and focus on your business. Whatever you put your focus into, Spirit is saying, that is what you're going to, that's the outcome you're going to get. So if you want this to be, you know, go the long haul, then you need to buckle down and focus her. Because I see you have good luck, good fortune on your side, as well as good karma. Yeah, but I'm telling you, this cycle, this uh, separation that y'all are in, this is about to end here. This is a fake. This is faded. You and this person are meant to be together. Yeah, Spirit is saying, give this a chance. Oh, Spirit, give me more. Give me more. Yeah, but it's impatient. It's an impatience. Yeah, some of y'all are being really, really impatient when it comes to this situation and this person. The Spirit is telling you to have patience. Don't rush anything. Yeah, you have a vision of how you want this to go. So, yeah, be patient and let them work behind the scenes to help you out with this. Yeah, now we got the Seven of Swords coming out. I feel like this person spies on you, collective. It's like this person wants you to, some of y'all, this person wants you to feel like, you know, they not, you know, they not as into you as they are. This person watch every damn thing you do. They really do. Especially if you're in separation from this person. This person spies on you, baby. See, this is this person right here. It's like they in two minds about giving your they cup to you. Because possibly in the past, again, this is coming up. It's a maybe. 
this person in the past could have been a cheater and feels like what what goes around comes around. So they could possibly feel like what they did to somebody else, you're going to turn around and do to them. Again, this is a general reading. Y'all take the energy how it resonates. This could be somebody that wants to reunite with you. And this person cheated on you in the past. And they feel like if you know y'all get back together, then you're then you're gonna do exactly to them what they did to you. Yeah, Aquarius energy. Hmm. Yeah, and then we got the lovers. See, this is what I'm talking about. This person chooses you, but I don't feel like they're expressing it. It's like this person, for them, this being with you is a, actually decided to be with you is a major choice for them because they felt like they were not ever going to have this in their life. For some of y'all, I'm hearing again. So that's why this person is so standoffish. Some of these people have dead said, I don't want a relationship. I'm not going to, uh -uh, I'm not doing it. I'm not. And then they, they met you. They feel like y'all are a perfect fit together. Like the sex is good. If you're sleeping with this person, the sex is good. Y'all on the same page when it comes to like morals and values and things like that. This person feel like, honestly, like y'all are like kindred spirits here. <laughs> Yeah, they want a relationship with you. Yeah, look, Ace of Swords, that's the truth. Bottom of the deck. Yeah, I'm telling you, this person, it feels like they can have like victory, success with you. They're trying to make a plan and figure out how to communicate this with you. But I feel like this person is having like a real a real issue with that, with this seven of swords. It's feeling like it's a push and pull within this person all along. It's like they're battling themselves. If they want to come and actually bear their, you know, tell you their feelings, how they actually feel that they want this commitment with you. 22-22, as I said that. And a lot of them just like, or should I just leave it alone? Yeah. Or should I just remain in my player energy? Mm hmm. I I don't feel like this is the type of person who is going to tolerate a lot of childish behavior either collective because this person is such an uh, intellectual person. Mm -hmm. Gemini energy with the lover's card. Yeah, but I'm seriously feeling like it's an ending to this separation. Yeah, because this person look at you as their empress. Libra Taurus energy here. Some of these people, it's like, um, I don't know if you're sleeping with this person. If you are and you don't want to have kids, make sure you protect yourself. Because I see a lot of these people trying to get you pregnant. It's like this person uh, seriously feel like that's one way for them to hold on to you. Possibly without having to express their feelings to you. <laughs> oh my goodness. Who is this person? Who is this person? Like the I said that these cards just went everywhere, y'all. Oh okay. more in the situation. Yeah. And now we have the four of pentacles here. I feel like this person is seriously holding on to you, seriously. But this person is also seriously focused on their financial stability. It's something about in this person's old age and when they retire. It's something that this person has plans to do. And that's what they're working on now. Yeah, but this person is definitely, they're deeply affected by whatever situation it is that they went through in the past. This could have been somebody, uh, their child's mother that they went through something with. Yeah, we got the Queen of Swords, and then we had a Two of Swords. Hmm. 
I really feel like this person is being a stalemate to you simply because of the shit that happened to them in their past. Seriously. If this person here, because I, I feel like they're, um, they have a, a good set of principles, morals, values, everything like that. They really don't believe in ghosting people, but I do feel like seriously, this person is seriously trying to guard their heart. So if they're being a stalemate to you, then that is why they're torn in between like uh, being with you or either staying single. That's seriously what I feel here, collective. Yeah, but they are so in love with you, so in love with you, so in love with you, so in love with you. Exactly. They want this new beginning with you. Seriously, they do. But they fear it because of this shit that happened to them in the past. They really do. They fear it. But I'm telling y'all, baby, if y'all don't want to have no kids, you better you strap, make them strap up. Yeah, it's something like this person, they feel guilty right now, seriously, collective. Because they can't give you what they know it is that you want from them. But I do feel like this person is coming through to honestly communicate with you. Even if they're like at a distance from you, I do feel like this person is about to get in touch. Some of y'all, they're going to come right to your door, so be expecting it. All right, collective, it's been real. If the video resonated, please like, comment, as well as subscribe, and we will get back up.